Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from Mr. Chapman's book of electrical machines, fifth edition. And here we'll be solving N chapter question 2.11. And this is on the request of a student. So first of all, uh, let's recall the approximate transformer model. This is from figure 2.18 from the book. Now there are two models. One is called the refer to the primary side or the left hand side. And the other is refer to the secondary side. And then there is a simplified version. If you take away this portion, which is called the excitation branch, then this is a simplified version of the primary side. And this is the simplified version of the secondary side. We'll be using these two in this question that we are going to solve. Now, uh, this is the question, and uh, I'll not go into the details of it. We'll tackle them one by one. So, let's go to the next slide. This is the first part of the question. 100 MVA, 230, 115 KV, delta Y, three-phase power transformer. So, first of all, this is delta NY transformer. Power transformer because it is handling high power, 100 mega volt ampere, 230, 115, 230 is the primary side and 115 is on the secondary side. Now the equivalent circuit in PU will look like this and we will plug in the values. Now this is the per unit resistance 0 0.15, so we have written it here. Pi unit reactance is 0 0.06 PU and RC is 100 PU, XM is 20 PU. So this is the circuit uh, that is uh, we'll be solving. Now let's see the first question. Part A, if this transformer supplies a load of 80 MVA at 0 0.8 power factor lagging. So this is uh, connected the load with this. 80 MVA load. Draw the phasor diagram of one phase of the transformer. Now the phasor diagram looks something like this. So we'll try to replicate this. Now in this, this is the line current, ILS. This voltage is the secondary voltage, which is taken as the reference voltage. This voltage VSPU. Then this is the drop across the resistance which will be in parallel with the current. So, and then the drop in X EQ will be 90 degree because of the J sign, 90 degree with this one. So 90 degree of this. And wherever this ends, if we connect this with the zero point, this will be our a V phase or V primary, sorry, V primary. So this will be V primary. Now in, in case of a PU, this diagram will modify to look something like this. So ILS PU, VS PU, and all these in terms of a PU. PU is per unit. So the first task is to find the ILS PU. And to find anything in terms of a PU, what we do is we divide its actual value by the base value. So ILS PU is ILS divided by ILS base. Now we have to find these two. Now from the power diagram or the, from the power equation, power or the apparent power is under root 3 VLS ILS. Now remember we are operating here. So the line current ILS will be S divided by under root 3 VLS. We know S from here is 80 MVA. So 80 MVA. VLS from here, you can see the secondary side is 115 KV and under root 3. So the answer will be 402 ampere. So this is ILS. We have found this one. Now we need to find ILS base. Remember, for base, we always use the rated power or the given power of the transformer. So this one, this power will be using formula remains same ILS base 
always from the rated power is S base, which is 100 MVA. Under root 3, VLS base, VLS base remains same, 150 in the secondary side. So ILS base is 502 ampere. And now plugging in this value, uh, in this uh, equation, we can find ILS PU. So ILS PU, putting these and then power factor is 80. So for angle, we cos inverse 0 0.8. Uh, and so it will be 0 0.8 and from here the angle is minus 36.87. So this is our the line current in PU. So we have found this current. We can just make it the red, red line. So this we have found. Now uh, we'll find the other terms. Okay, we were here. And we, for simplification reason, we'll be using this diagram now. So we have found this current. This is our reference voltage, VSPU will be our reference voltage. So from this, we can say that VP, VP per unit will be VSPU plus drop in this. So current into Z equivalent or Z equivalent can be written as R equivalent and X equivalent. So this is the uh, simplified equation. And now from here, we'll first of all plug in the value and also we'll draw this diagram. Now this VSPU is our reference line with zero angle to this is VSPU. And as I mentioned, we have to plot R S, uh, sorry, I into R equivalent. So it will be as in the parallel with the current I. And this one will be at 90 degree. And when we join, then we get VPPU. Now in equation form, we can plug in, in the value for VSPU, it is one zero. We know this value of current. We know this value of R equivalent in PU. And similarly, current and X solving, this is our V primary in PU. So 1.039. And now we can plug in the values here. Now, one point to note in the uh, structure solution manual, he has drawn it directly, which I think is not correct. We should follow this pattern. So I'll stick to this pattern and we'll now plug in all the values. So this was 1.0. This I intentionally didn't write because of the shortage of space, but you can put in the value. Uh, this one will be here and the second one here. And the final value is 1.039, uh, 1.70 degree. So this is the uh, final phase diagram. Then we come to part B. What is the voltage regulation of the transformer bank under these conditions? Now for PU, the voltage regulation formula is very simple. VPPU minus VSPU, VS at full load. And similarly, VSPU, now V, this is VSPU one and VPPU we have got from here 1.039. So plugging in the values, uh, we get voltage regulation to be 30.9, uh, sorry, 3.9%. This is part B done. Now part C is sketch the equivalent circuit referred to the low voltage side. Now our low voltage is on the secondary side. So this will be the circuit that we'll draw uh, for one phase transformer. But the important point is calculate all the transformer impedances referred to the low voltage side. Now we have to calculate all the impedances. Now these are given in PU. What we need to do is calculate in ohms like here. So how much ohm, how much ohm. So to do that, we'll again use the PU formula uh, this was the PU formula that the impedance in PU is will be impedance in ohm Z equivalent divided by Z base or from here we can say that Z equivalent will be Z base and Z S E P U. Now we have all these in PU so we need to find Z base first of all and 
there are two formulas for Z base. This is uh, uh, given in our book, but I found it in another book, which is much simpler. This is from the power system analysis. So the base impedance is base voltage in kilovolt square divided by base voltage in MVA for three phase. Now, in, you know, in our case, it is 100 and here it is 115. So let's plug in the values. So Z base is VLS base in KV divided by, uh, sorry, there should be a square here missing. And then S base of three phase in MBA. So 115 KV square and this is 100 MVA. So the answer will be 133 ohm. So now that we have found the Z base, we can just multiply all these with Z base to get the answer in ohm. So let's see. Okay. So this is 0 0.15 multiplied by Z base. We get two. Similarly, all the three. And so our new values will look like this in terms of ohm. So these values we have plotted here. So this is the answer for part C. And then part D, determine the losses in the transformer and the efficiency of the transformer under the condition of part 2. So first of all, let's see the losses. Now there are two types of losses. Uh, uh, one is due to this series resistance loss and the other is due to this excitation branch resistance. And so PR equivalent, that is series, will actually be S base multiplied by PR equivalent in PU. So we can find this easily and we know this S base A PR equivalent in PU will be the current multiplied by this resistance. So our PR equivalent will be S, which is 100 MVA, and I square R equivalent, I we have already calculated is magnitude 0 0.8, so 0 0.8 square, and this is 0 0.15. So the series power loss is 0 0.96 megawatt. And now with the excitation branch, same technique. The excitation branch loss is also Px is S base P E X P U. Now this we can find to be V square over R. V P, this is the voltage here. So V P square in P U divided by R. And we know V P U was 1.039. So we'll plug in this value here. R is 100. And this is S, so the loss is 1.08 megawatt. So these are the two losses. So half of it is done, and now we go to the efficiency. So the losses we know, the transformer's efficiency, we know the formula is P out over P in. Now P out, uh, in, in this case, is this load that we had connected, 80, uh, 80 MBA load. So that is our P out, but P in we can calculate from here the load loss and the loss in the series resistance and the loss in the uh, excitation branch. So P load plus P R E Q plus P E X and we know all the values 80, 80 megawatt, 0 0.96 and 1.08. So the efficiency is 97.5%. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.